All right, lads and ladies, and welcome to Kickback Garage. A bit of a special edition for you today. Uh, today, I've got a visitor, and uh, this is my man, Steve. And uh, for those of you who follow the channel, you will uh, probably have uh, heard that name before. And I'll tell you all about that uh, after I've sent the scooter over. So let it go. Whoop! Right, so this is my uh, my mate Steve, and uh, just to th put things in perspective, I'm six foot two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, for the for the really keen followers out there, uh, you would heard you would have heard the name Steve before, and that is because. If you remember the engine that I could basically pull apart by hand, just by using fingers and no tools, that was his engine. And uh, the poor lad, he bought it like that, and uh, we think we sorted it out. Now, what he's done, he bought this uh, scooter as a bit of a wreck, and I've got some pictures, and I'll uh, throw those up here. You can have a look how it looked like when we picked it up. And as you see there, it was uh, it was a rat bike, but unfortunately, it was a very badly put together rat bike. And uh, Steve is a painter. And he's done all the bodywork himself here, and I fixed the engine for him, and this thing has never been started. But first I want to have a little bit of a chat with Steve, uh, because this, if I'm not wrong, this is the first time you've restored a Lambretta. Yeah, it is. You've done, you've done Vespers. Done Vespers, many yeah. Vespers. Yeah, okay. But this is the first one. This is the first Lambretta. Yeah. And as a first time Lambretta restorer, what, uh, what were the difficult bits, you reckon? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> a lot of everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it was. I mean, it was just so rusty and everything. So I had to strip it all down, sandblasted the old lot myself, and uh, and basically just start every panel individually, really. Right. But uh, as it goes, is is difficult. It for me, it's not difficult. Yeah, not, the painting bit obviously yeah. isn't difficult because. As we know, you're a painter, but yeah. uh, I mean, this paint looks really lush. It's not my my style, really. I wouldn't really have <laughs> considered these colours at all. No, but I love bling. Yeah, you love bling. I love bling. Yeah. Bling, bling, bling. All but the way. I have to say that it looks actually quite nice. It's smashing. Yeah. The colours really, really work together with this like rusty orange and the, yeah. and the gold there. It is. I, I think the colours are fantastic, to be quite honest. It's your scooter, mate. Exactly. I it mean, is. I work at Toyota, and the actual orange is a Toyota Hilux color. Really? It looks pretty. The red yellow, though. the yellow, straight out from a can, which is the what was it called? YA eight hundred color. Okay. So there's nothing. There's it just came out the can the way it did, and I thought I love that color. I'm painting it. I I, uh, I, I could have painted it any color. Yeah. Yeah. But as soon as I saw that, I thought, wow, that's the color I'm going for. Yeah, yeah it looks uh, it looks really good. Yeah. And we haven't actually started up the engine. Do you think it'll start? I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is the exciting bit. Shall we uh, Shall we just see if we can fire her up? You can go for it. Let's see if I... It all depends if I've done the choke right, of course. Oh, that could be something uh, simple like the timing or something like that. So we, you have to have a look at that afterwards. So first we have to start it up to be able to. Uh... Oh, leave the choke off. Yeah, because the thing is, we have to uh, we have to have it started to be able to check the timing on it. Oh, almost.
Hey, that's a nice takeover. Cut out works. That's good. Well, that's a bit of success. So the reason why uh, Steve's come down today is uh, we're going to sort out some wiring. The lights aren't working. Uh, and you've got some cable issues. i definitely got cable issues. All oh, right, yeah, I see. <laughs> I see your problem there. <laughs> yeah, that's not supposed to be like that, no. Um, so, got, and what else we're going to do? We're going to uh, check the timing. So, yeah. we've got it started now, so that, then we can strobe the timing. Uh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. And we'll have a look at that afterwards once we've done that and see if we can get it started. And we're going to look a little bit at the uh, jet in there. But yeah. um, I reckon when you build a scooter like this uh, and you're doing it to uh, your own personal taste, uh, it's it, it depends on influences, doesn't it? Like, uh, when did you start with scooters, Steve? Uh, I all my mates bought scooters when they were sixteen, and I ended up painting all my mates' scooters. Ah, right. I see. And then I got into it that way. And cool. uh, I've only ever had one motorbike in my life, and that was last what last year with the XL five. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, yeah. And mm. the rest have been scooters since, really. Yeah. Cool. So you've been doing it for quite a while. So obviously, long time. I mean, what, how old are you, 70? <laughs> <laughs> Just turn 50, mate. Just turn 50. Right, okay. So that'll put you in the uh, 80s, uh, yeah. early 90s era yeah. there. Yeah. And that was, uh, so that's really sort of a scooter boy sort of looking yeah, for. Yeah. 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 So, but other the music. Yeah. Other than the painting, because we know you can do that. Yeah. What, when you was putting this together, have you got any tips for uh, first time uh, restorers and builders? Oof, tips. Um, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll knock it on the head there, and uh, we'll <laughs> we'll have a look around the cables and that, and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can... that. we'll come back to that one. Yeah, 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 and uh, we'll sort this out, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have another happy customer. Right, Steve forgot to bring his uh, flywheel holder tool, <laughs> so I kind of just the uh, kind of just the ignition here. So I've sent him back home, and while he's back home. I am uh, using the old buzz wangle. I'm going to check uh, how, how the lay the land is uh, on the timing there. And I think on this engine, I want to put it to uh, 17 degrees before top dead centre. This is, uh, it ended up being, uh, should I say, uh, SR195, uh, we think, uh, top end. He's got the new uh, chisel speed exhaust. He did have a scooter RS, but that was leaking terribly and I couldn't get that to uh, get airtight and we ended up with a new uh, mag housing and we've uh, sorted the clutch and uh, all sorts of stuff it's really windy so I hope, uh, hope it sounds okay um, yeah so I'm gonna crack on with that and he's done a terrible job of the uh, of the cables here uh, so I'm gonna have to sort that out as well and apparently you can't select all gears, and I understand why, but it's put all the wires on the top here and they're in quite a bit of tension here. So I think I'm just gonna loosen the whole lot and uh, just start from scratch on that while he's away. And uh, yeah, gonna crack on with it. But if you're interested in uh, watching the video about the engine, <laughs> this was really terrible. It's, I think it's about half an hour long and it's well worth uh, grabbing a coffee and having a look at that video. And what I'm gonna do, I'll uh, put a link to the bottom of the in the bottom of the video in the description I can uh, even put um, uh, what's it called a card in the window at the top here somewhere and uh, when you've seen this video go and have a look at that engine it was terrible but as you heard uh, it was quite hard to start but the plug we've had the plug out and it was quite um, wet so I reckon uh, it probably might be able to start this up without using the chalk uh, but we'll we'll sort that out later on. But uh, first off, it's uh, check the timing and uh, sort out those bloody cables. Yeah. Oh, and if you notice, did you notice he's got the old uh, combine harvester tractor uh, accent? He's from uh, the West Country, so he's another Brit that's moved over to uh, Norway. And uh, I think we're three in total, and all of us like scooters, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I'll crack on with this. Uh, another thing Steve has asked me to uh, look at is the electrics. Uh, and I see uh, one problem here. 
and that is I mean the thing is the lights aren't working now that could be the bulb or uh, something simple like that but I see the earth point here where he's uh, fastened the uh, stator and coil to the frame he hasn't removed the pin uh, around the uh, earth fixing point so that's not really getting a very good earth it is however uh, earth to the engine so it could be that these uh, contacts here they're looking a bit worse for wear I'm not sure <laughs> what's been going on there but I think I'm gonna swap out these uh, contacts and they're actually they're, they're quite shabby so I'm gonna change out these contacts and I'm going to uh, scrape away the paint here poor lad <laughs> and uh, try and sort this earth out properly so it's it's pretty important even though and Steve said this is his weak point even though he said that he hates doing electrics earth is uh, very very important when it comes to this stuff like this but now that the sun's come look at that paint it's uh, really popping popping in the sun beautiful sort of gold uh, golden orange uh, 70s combo and the uh, side panels here he didn't bring them with him they're also uh, they're a two-tone orange and the gold combo and I think it's gonna look really nice this scooter Um, another issue I've seen, and that wind is really, really annoying. If I put in another issue I've seen, this is the uh, rear brake cable. He's uh, routed that completely wrong, so it's actually interfering with the uh, with the tie rod there to the uh, gear. So we're gonna sort that one out as well. But uh, it's all small niggles, and uh, these things are easily done wrong. But um, yeah. I'm a little bit pedantic when it comes to that and uh, it's such a shame not getting this in 100% uh, technical stand stand it's, that's really good uh, England for you uh, there's no point having a scooter that looks really really nice uh, in the paintwork division if it's not gonna run properly so uh, that's another little niggle we're gonna sort out uh, while I'm waiting for Steve right well I, uh, I've checked the timing marks for the Buzz Wangle or meter and uh, they're absolutely bob on and even though the two lines on the flywheel and the two line and the white line on the uh, stator there is lined up it's firing at about 10 degrees before top dead center and that's way too low so we're gonna have to move the stator there uh, when Steve come back, comes back and another thing I noticed on the wiring is that one of the gear cables isn't a gear cable it's a throttle cable so uh, I hope we uh, we can fit a new cable without having to uh, take off the uh, mug guard and the uh, horn cast there. And I hope I've got one lying around. I think I have. And I think I'm going to treat him. I, as you know, I bought a couple of kits of the uh, Siptronians. So I think I'm going to swap those out for him while he's, uh, while he's away. I've got uh, some of those extra. Right, so we sorted out the cables. We have, uh, and we're going to check the timing again. So if you fire it up, Steve, and we can have a, we can uh, if we switch it through these, because one of these is uh, park lights or something like that. So you can, you got, it's not going anywhere without a plug. So that's a good, uh, <laughs> good observation there, Stevie Wonder. Um, before we connect it all up, we can uh, have a look at the lights, see if we've got any yeah. any action there. What's, uh, you haven't put a 6 volt bulb in there or something? Nah, it shouldn't be. Not That's it. the one with the scooter. Yeah, but the filament looks okay, so... Should be alright. Right then. Try, try and start it up without choke, because I, yeah. I think your pilot is uh, big enough. Because the plug was really, really uh, wet when we took that out. That's it from there. So you have to give it a rev. Give it a rev. Oh. Or we'll warm it up. <laughs> warm it up. <laughs> How do you get it back right? He's sniffing his bike. 
No back light. No lights. No lights. Nothing works. Brake light. Your brake light works. <laughs> it ticks over nicely. That's a good sign. I think your uh, throttle cable is sticking or something. But, uh, uh, it's actually good to have a bit of rev. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's strange. Yeah, we'll look at that. Yeah, I just want to make sure the timing, it looked like the timing was all right. Try, yeah. try it again. There's enough fuel going in there, don't there? Yeah, the fuel isn't on you. Yeah, the fuel's there. No, the fuel's there. <laughs> Turn the fuel tap on. That's why it was on, rising man. in revs, because yeah, that's also a good sign as well. It means you haven't got air leaks. Right, try it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have fun editing this. Give it a little bit of ball. Da -da -da -da. I need about, I need about two and a half thousand reds. Just a little bit of ball. Bit more. Right. Uh, we're a little bit too far um, advanced so you have to and it's only a touch it's only a touch so let me take off that and then we have we have to uh, I just don't want to scratch your paint ah. like young sir uh, I have to move it so I have to move it to the left so we'll have that off again so whereabouts are you from Steve Bristol, mate. Bristol. Bristol. Came to Norway 25 years ago. 25. 25 years. So, yeah, and that, that'll make that 95. 95. 95, all right. Then, uh, I think I came here. I came here first in the army in uh, 91. And then I... The important thing to remember with the uh, flywheel <laughs> is that it's uh, links. So it goes the wrong way, basically. So we'll take it off, and I think it's a ten or is it an eight to move the starter? I can't remember what I put it in with. <laughs> yeah, they're not Allen key then. Are they not Allen key? No. No. Okay, then it's. Uh... Oh, I don't know. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even looked at it. <laughs> but this is the first time I'm going to see it. <laughs> do you miss it? Do you miss the UK? Family, mate. Yeah, family. Yeah, family of course. And the mates. They're the best. So you don't miss uh, Combine Harvesters? No. <laughs> You're alright with that. Not anymore. What about the Scrumpy then? Yeah, but the cider's great now in Cornwall. I moved to Cornwall when I was 11, actually. 12. Alright, so you have always have a, haven't had the funny accent. Oh, I've got a Bristol Cornish accent dialect. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a, uh, a weird one. Yeah. And people take the piss out of mine. Right, let's have a look. This, you see, it's got different threads on each side. Yeah. It's really good. It's the uh, Scutopia tool. Yeah. And it's, um, let's see if we can pop that off there. It, and it's uh, double threaded, so it means that it fits both Indian and uh, yeah. Italian because they use different threads, those buggers. Let's see if I can. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it's nice when when everything works as it should do. Righty all. So we'll do do the old uh, strawberry 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 again. Starts easy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is cool. It sounds healthy. Engine sounds healthy, mate. So I'm I'm pleased about that. Yes. Do you know what? <laughs> I've got a mate, this is funny. I've got a mate, yeah, we were we were timing a scooter and he was doing exactly the same as you. I was stood on the other side of the scooter. Yeah. And he put it on the uh, 
<laughs> you miss that? Tom, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell's going on? <laughs> he clipped it on the on the rear cable. He thought the strobe gun was broken. Right, fire her up. Fire her up. Fire her up. Yes! Nice! Yeah, like that. Right, so we've uh, sorted out the cables, and I've cut the cables and sold them no soldered those. So the, we now have all uh, four gears, which is a, um, a good thing. <laughs> and uh, sorted out the route in there with the cables. And now we're on to the wiring. Now she starts first kick, and we've timed her up, and uh, it's spot on 17 degrees now. And it actually starts first kick, which is absolutely brilliant. And now we're trying to sort out the, the wiring. now. I've used the old uh, multimeter and uh, the brown wire is the live feed and I checked that it wasn't um, wasn't uh, cut in the cable or something so we put the uh, uh, multimeter on the rear of the scooter on the brown wire on the cable loom on the yeah, on the uh, wiring loom and I checked with the brown here and that's all good so we, we owned that so that's so we know that there's power getting up here but it's, it's a bit of a mess really, the uh, front of the scooter here. And I've checked that the brown wire that goes to the switch uh, is okay as well. I took off the switch and we ohmed it and that's fine as well. So then we know we've got power, we just got to uh, connect the, right, the correct uh, wires to the uh, correct application. We're never going to get... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm, mm, mm. Mm. When you're doing difficult jobs like this, it's really important that you've got a wife coming out with cake. <laughs> Perfect. Cake and coffee. Mm. So, uh, trying to figure out a way how to sort this out. I think if we, did you say you had bigger ones? Yeah. I think that I think they're all right. To tell the truth, in there. So we need to, at least we need to have black, black to black. You work, Ollie. <laughs> it's all right, isn't it, that is? She baked it herself at the, <laughs> sho at the shop. <laughs> right, so what we did there, we, you had lots of wires coming off the wires. So what we ended up doing is uh, taking off the middle wires and uh, we connected the wires from the switch directly to the wires on the bulb. light. Yeah. yeah. And we put a new halogen bulb in there, which we hope should work. Uh, we know that the cutout wire was working, but we shortened that as well, because that also had like a, a connector in between. And basically we just joined, uh, joined the dots. Um, the blue wire from the switch goes into the uh, lighthouse, the red wire from the switch does the same, and the uh, yellow. I think what you did wrong, maybe, is, um, and a lot of people do this, Lambrettas don't have, Lambrettas, hello? <laughs> <laughs> Lambrettas uh, don't use black as an earth. So that's I, uh, that's a good point. So do I you reckon? An earth. Yeah, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. guaranteed. So uh, we've got yeah. the earth going off there, and the black from the loom joined to the black on the switch, which isn't an earth, and, um, oh, do we dare start her up? Yeah. Do we? Yeah. If I hold the light bulb, we can have a see if it uh, works. Ready? Go for it, Johnny boy. <laughs> hey! 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 Oh. 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 Right. Hey! Hey! Nice one. Bloody beautiful. You happy? Oh, yeah. So now we're going to sort out. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> to put it mildly, I suppose. <laughs> Nice one, mate. Bloody beauty, Rob. Good job, man. So, uh, what I reckon I'll do now is I'll uh, I'll adjust your uh, clutch cable. And what main jet did you have in there? One twenty. One twenty. I reckon that's a little bit low on the on this kit. So he's got he's running a PHBH thirty Delorto. Uh, I reckon one thirty, maybe. Yeah. We've got one thirty five on the uh, on the RT two two five. So I reckon we'll, we'll try a one thirty on there. And another thing to check as well, if you've got a PHBH, is the float uh, valve. They come with quite small float valves, and you can end up with um, fuel starvation on uh, on rapid scooters like this one. So we, we'll check that, and we'll do that, and then we can send you on your way. So, I think we'll do one of those, because... There's know, no coronavirus in yeah, this yeah. garage. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, what I reckon we'll do, we're knocking on the head there, lads. I hope you thought this was a good little watch. Don't forget, buy the old t-shirts, because that's the only way I can fund this channel. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, which should be uh, the TV 175 again. <laughs> All right, lads. I'll uh, love you and leave you, and uh, ta -ra. Cheers.